Welcome again to the Sunday Guerrilla Men's Bible Study. I'm Brother Thomas Lee Harris III, and we are in the book of Romans, verse by verse. Powerful study, and we have reached chapter 15. Chapter 15 in the book of Romans, verse 1. We then, who are strong, ought to bear the scruples of those of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, leading to edification. Amen. And once again, I'm in the study with you. And, and Paul starts this off strong. That, that emphasis, it's not a we. I mean, it's not an I thing. We got to look for the we, the bigger picture. It's not about me. Right? It's for the edification, the uplifting of, of another. Amen. Verse 3. For even Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, he reproaches of those who reproach you. The reproaches of those who reproach you fell on me. For whatever things were written before were written of our learning, that we should, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now may the God of patience and comfort grant you to be like-minded toward one another according to Christ Jesus. Verse 6. That you may with one mind and one mouth glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore receive one another just as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Now I say that Jesus Christ has become a servant of the circumcision for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made to the fathers. Verse 9. That the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written. For this reason I will confess to you among the Gentiles and sing your name. Verse 10. And again he says, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And Verse 11. Verse, verse 11. And again... Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Lord him, all you people. And again, Isaiah says, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he who shall rise to reign over the Gentiles. In him the Gentiles shall have hope. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Verse 14. Now I myself am confident concerning you, my brother, that you also are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able also to admonish one another. Verse 15. Nevertheless, brother, and I have written more boldly to you on some points as reminding you because of the grace given to me by God, that I might be a minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of God, that the offering of the Gentiles might be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, I have reason to glory in Christ Jesus in the things which pertain to God. Verse 18. For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Christ has not accomplished through me, in word and in deed, and deed to make the Gentiles obedient. In mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about to Ilkrium, I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. And so I have made in my aim to preach the gospel, not where Christ was named, lest I should build on another man's foundation. Verse 21. But as it is written, to whom he was announced, they shall see, and those who have not heard shall understand. For this reason I have also, verse 22 again, for this reason I also have been much hindered from coming to you, but now no longer having a place in these parts and having a great desire these many years to come to you. Whenever I journey to Spain, I shall come to you, for I hope to see you on my journey and to be helped on my way there by you. If first I may enjoy your company for a while. Verse 25. But now I am going to Jerusalem to minister to the saints. For it pleased those from Macedonia and Achaia 
to make a certain contribution for the poor among the saints who were in Jerusalem. Verse 27. It pleased them indeed, and they are debtors. For if the Gentiles have been partakers of their spiritual things, their duty is also to minister to them in material things. Therefore, when I have performed this, I have sealed to them this fruit, and I shall go by way of you to Spain. But I know that when I come to you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. Now I beg you, brethren, through the Lord Jesus Christ and through the love of the Spirit, that you strive together with me in prayers to God for me. Verse 31. That I may be delivered from those in Judea who do not believe, and that my service for Jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints. Verse 32. Then I may come to you with joy by the will of God and may, re and may be refreshed together with you. Verse 33. Now the God of peace be with you all. Amen. And that concludes the 15th chapter of the book of Romans. Amen. Amen. And we see Paul starts with its edification of others. Because Christ put our reproaches on him. You know. And we are continue that pattern of helping, sharing this gospel with others. Amen? And that concludes the 15th chapter of Romans.